and we're back with more two gay guys play. Randy is me, and I'm gonna watch you put some keys and stuff. I'm Andrew, and I enjoy putting things in holes. <laughs> hey, did you rehearse that one? Nope. Hit it. Oh. Um, Get closer and hit it. See that ring on the bundle of fireworks? Oh. Hook sure. onto it with your cane. Gotta wait for it to render. Ah. And you, and you die. Game <laughs> over. <laughs> it explodes like, yep, never mind. That's how it turned out. It was that 1%. You are the 1% sly. Flame Foo. I think I remember beating this guy in like one go. Of notorious Koopa thief Your jaw has a lot of issues right Yeah, now. what is... Like, it is definitely detached, right? Yeah, same with his head from the rest of his body. Yeah. first, but now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief. Just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief <laughs> from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent. <laughs> you're pretty good at insults there, Sly. Yeah. Like, Ideally for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry. I will send you to your doom. I don't know. With Just judging from this, it's like Sucker Punch really didn't know how to do their rigging of models. <laughs> like, his, look at his arm is going through his chest, and like his knee was doing weird stuff. But whatever, they got better. Yeah, they did. I wonder if they did like one movie after this. I mean, one like game before this or anything. Oh, he has like an actual part. I like his little picture below his health bar. Yeah. Looks like Whoa. Panda from We Bear Bears. Yeah, it does. We're caught up on that show, right? We are super I just caught up until the next season. Oh, it is? That's it? Yeah. But, you know, it's cable television, so next season could be like a month from now. Like, True. oh, just oh, did I just die? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. okay. Cheese it up and then take him on. Yep. Apologies for the crackly box noises. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Nice. I really would like just one of these to have like a horseshoe in it. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Bombs of thunder, fiery wheel. Bombs of thunder, fiery wheel. All right, I got him down to half. Okay. Booming chop, booming chop, fiery wheel. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. All right, come on, team. No whammies, no whammies. Booming chop, bombs of fun. Okay. Okay. He didn't finish his. All right. Whatever. Mm. You can do it. Show this panda bitch who's boss. All right. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. Fiery wheel. I need to look up the uh, web comic of uh, We Bear Bears. Oh yeah, that's right. Because like as I recall, it's originally a web comic. Is that if, if reading it means I just get more We Bear Bears, <laughs> like I'm into it. Then if like new episodes start like in a couple months and you just be like, I just read this. I don't know if it's like new original scripts or whatever. Yeah. Like uh, the um, My Little Pony comics. Yeah. Because this is shit I know about. Are all like original scripts. Oh cool. It's not like back in the old days and be like, wanna buy this Power Rangers novel? It's just the novelization of an episode. Oh Jesus. Yeah. I have those. Like there's those for like Ninja Turtles. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Booming oh. chop. There's also like uh Ninja Turtles comics that are original. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, 
what surprised me about the the My Little Pony ones uh-huh. is like besides the fact that they do like original plot lines, yeah. some of them are actually like way better than are what in the show. Like uh, basically once the series became a big success, they uh, yeah, I noticed that too. I think it was by quarters each time, except for this time, an eight. Yeah. Fiery wheel. Booming chop. Fiery wheel. Palms of thunder. Fiery wheel. Boom! Yeah. Uh, Suck it. All right. Uh, that game Link, sorry. <laughs> I forgot about the crackling. <laughs> yeah. Panda's arm is cute. Lies. Lies. I would give him a hug. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Alright, so we finished four or five sections. Yeah. I'll come back and get that other one. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's I'll let this finish, then I'll continue to talk about My Little Pony. Sure. Technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, okay. relied on vehicles to aid So he sucked. So he built planes. Yeah. With his designs, All right. I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. All right, neat. Sure. That's what we're doing. Yeah. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, <laughs> threw the Panda King in jail. <laughs> his Hot Latin Spitfire puts Fiery Panda on ice. That is also definitely racist. Yeah. Like, that's racist, not specious. True. Shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed. Okay. Home to plan our next move. Just in deep cover. Yeah. Slash didn't change your outfit at all, Sly. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. You can do better. Okay, partner, this is Ready for this? A trip to Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, we'll do this opening cutscene, and then I'll talk about my little pony. <laughs> While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks yeah. very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence? Or is there something I'm missing? Like in River Lake Your Girl Utena, there are no coincidences. Yeah, Sly Cooper in the cold heart of hate. Yeah. Is this a full world or. It's like two stages. Hey, Sly! The road to Clockwork's Fortress is blocked! Do me a favor, shoot yeah. out that lock! Oh, oh, yeah. Check out all those mines! Like this landmaster. Yeah, this is like Assassin's Creed in that regard, where they can never figure out how to end games. Like the, the first one, it just ends with like a fucking Space Invader stage, where you're just fighting waves of dudes. Really? Yeah. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, the first one. Uh, and then you kind of do a boss fight, sort of, and then you do another boss fight, sort of. Like it's very, very anticlimactic. Okay. Whereas, like, the second one, uh, despite a lot of people not liking the ending, for me, it actually makes sense. Like, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. Yeah. With just, like, a dude. Ah, this controller is just, just... wants to bring me to orgasm. I mean, we can... We can do that later. Let's settle down, controller. Yeah. Controller, I do not have time for you. <laughs> Just like drowning. Yeah. Oh. And they're dead. Alright. Anyway. Is that the uh, drowning? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I'll give you an example. Besides, like, just bringing villains back from the show, which I always like yeah. when tie in merchandise does, like, it's not like Doctor Who where you'll eventually have enough to kind of see every villain 14 times. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so they bring back, like, the the chick, I think it's like Queen Chrysalis or something, from the end of season two. Uh -huh. uh, and they bring back, uh, like, Nightmare Moon and shit. Oh. Uh, but there's also, like, weird shit, like prequel chapters that take place in the 80s. 
when like Cadence and Shining Armor in high school, oh, and like crazy. Shining Armor is just a nerd. Like the covers of those issues are just amazing. Huh. Uh, and there's like a parallel world arc where they go and meet like, like, uh, disharmony is magic. And they meet all their like evil equivalents in a parallel world. Oh. And that's written by the guy who wrote Fringe, hmm. which is like, okay, right. fine, I guess. Yeah. Analyze. Uh, if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, won't be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then Murray will have to run over them with the. Ugh. Uh, okay. And Murray. Uh, I don't like this whole last battle. world. Yeah. Just because of like. Square button. If anyone tries to. It's like let's have everything computers. be different from the game you've been playing. Yeah. Murray, there are only 119 computers up there, and these yeah. fire slugs seem intent on getting to them before us. Yeah, I really don't like this. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you too. Like, it's such a... Please run over these computers to analyze them. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Uh. Doing alright so far. Yeah, Bentley, you are a hot mess. Just in general. Yeah. The mid 2000s, before like internet dating was completely understandable and normal. Yeah. So he's just like, oh, I'm so lonely. Like lonely dad, 15. <laughs> I don't think they, yeah, they drop anywhere on the map. It's not like they're just spawning from one. Room. Yeah. And sometimes the. Come in from anywhere yep. and break anything. It's okay, only need like 21 more. I just, and I just have to stay one ahead of them. That's kind of the problem. Oh, yeah. But they can just drop in on them and I can't. It's also unfair because there's only one of you and a ton of them. Yeah. Like that, uh, the, uh, murdery, uh, oh, shit, what, what was that stage called? The, the murder, the explodey cock stage. You know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. Mark, boom! Yeah! Uh, like, fine, they're following me. But it's not like independent where they can fuck me up. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, why haven't we been doing that this whole time? Yeah, Jesus. What's our timer at? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, 13 minutes, so maybe we'll just do this next part on 2 Gay Guys Play. No, uh, let's let's do this cutscene first. Okay. You better get out of there. Hold on, that's Carmelita. She looks trapped. <gasps> For some reason. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork like, probably stuck her there to trap you. But if I don't do anything, Carmelita... Because she knows Besides, your penis wants some of that sweet her. vixen green tang. And he wants to deal with your ring tail. <laughs> but if you're determined to go the sexual this, tension between this racist woman <laughs> cop <laughs> and this actual <laughs> thief. <laughs> like, I like that he doesn't even pretend. He's like, no, I'm, I'm totally a thief. Yeah. There. I've done this a million times. Alright, so we'll do this next time on Two Gay Guys Play. Alright.